What is up, foodies, and welcome back to another episode. I am going to Topanga Mall. I haven't been here in years. I used to go here all the time. Topanga Mall is probably one of the biggest malls in the Valley area uh, that I know of. They have a lot of high-end you know, shops. They have restaurants. Uh, a little mixture of everything, but they just opened Topanga Social. They opened 25 restaurants and bars that are just literally the heart of LA, supposedly. Uh, and they have brought them to Topanga Mall or Canoga Park. And uh, yeah, I'm just excited to see what they have. They have a nice little selection. Uh, some of the spots that I've been wanting to try in LA or some of the spots that I've already tried in LA that I like. This whole area has changed so much. Um, but uh, let's just get into this video. restaurant has its own iPad that you can order from or around all of Topanga social they have handful of iPads that you can order every single restaurant and when your order is done you get a little text confirmation to pick it up and then you could just enjoy it wherever you want in this case I got Tamaki which is owned by seaweed hand roll which is based out of Glendale which I've been wanting to try for a while and Katsu Sando which I believe I've had in the past but it was a really long time ago I think it was at like family food festival um, but you can kind of see me going through picking my hand rolls that I wanted um, but it was kind of a nice little function basically you could just order everything at once pay at once and just pick it up when it's done um, I think that was actually a good thing that they they created here um, and the pricing is on par with the normal restaurants so if you kind of just have been to any of these restaurants before you're going to be paying the same prices um, and it's all reasonable price I liked it um, they do also have a handful of bars which you cannot order from here you just got to go to them First up is the Tamaki, um, Tamaki by Seaweed Hand Roll, uh, and this is their spicy tuna uh, hand roll, and man, this was creamy, wasn't too spicy, but everything about this was really good, and I usually don't like spicy tuna that much. Now we get into a, basically the same exact thing, I don't know why I did it, but spicy tuna over crispy rice. The crispy rice was a little bit harder than I expected, but the inside you know, was nice and soft, but the way they did this, the spicy tuna was just flawless, super buttery. Now next is the blue crab hand roll, and this is probably the best blue crab roll I've had, period. This was flawless, this was amazing, I loved everything about it, I could eat this all day. It was super hot out, so of course I also had a good a little margarita at the margarita bar. This was kind of a weird experience. The bartender seemed like she just didn't want us to be at the bar, or anyone to be at the bar really. She was just kind of socializing with other worker, um, but she made great drinks. Uh, and actually the other drink that you see to the right, which is like a pineapple one that's about to come up, was actually free. Overall, I mean, later she kind of warmed up a little bit, but it just seemed like she just didn't want to be here. It's okay, I'll, I'll try them again. I'm not even a huge margarita person, but the drinks were flawless. So, you know, just check it out and maybe you'll have a better experience. Next up is Katsu Sando, and I got the chicken Katsu sandwich, and everything about this was amazing. The chicken was super juicy, not dry at all. The coleslaw had a nice little crunch. The aioli was on point. I would actually say the breading was perfect. It doesn't look like it's a lot here, but it was more than enough. It didn't overpower the sandwich. This was amazing. So I am back from Topanga Social. I would say overall, it was just a great experience. It's nice to see all of like the big names that you hear about and like all the foodie places uh, just come together in one spot, literally run one roof. Um, and the cool thing about Topanga Social, it doesn't really feel like you're at a mall. They do a very good way of disguising it, even though you, you definitely know that you're at the mall. Um, but it's just a nice little indoor, partially outdoor where that margarita bar was at. So I highly recommend going there, trying a little bit of everything. Bring your family, friends, uh, anyone that loves food. This is going to be the perfect spot for them. Uh, I don't. Even, I vaguely remember the food court uh, back in the day. I remember it being okay. There's you know a couple of restaurants here and there at Topanga that's decent. Uh, across from Topanga, a little Costco area, they do actually have a lot of good bars and restaurants there. But uh, yeah, I mean the Tamaki 
you know, hand rolls were just amazing. Uh, some of like the freshest, butteriest fish that I've had in a really long time. Again, I think the pricing was on par with everything that you will pay. So I'm, I'm down with it. Uh, that blue crab hand roll was just flawless. It was buttery, fresh. Oh, man, I literally just want to just eat scoops of it like ice cream. The flavor that Katsu Sando was able to just put into that chicken sandwich was amazing. I mean, it was just so juicy. It wasn't dry like at all. Um, everything they had together just was perfect. Um, and yeah, it was a lot of food. Uh, it, and you know, I took some home or I took half the sandwich home. Um, but it's just nice to kind of just, you don't know exactly what you want. You could choose a little bit of everything. Um, that's kind of the fun part. I do want to try the margarita bar. Like again, maybe it was just an off day. It was kind of weird at one point when we first got there, we weren't able to seat inside. They told us to go outside. And then it's just like when we were sitting outside for a little bit to order and the people were ordering inside. So it just kind of seemed like it was just all over the place. Um, I know they had a couple other bars inside that I also do want to try, but I highly recommend this place. Check it out for yourself. And again, like always, like and subscribe. Follow me on IG at Rock Paper Food and send me your food uh, recommendations or where you're eating at. Until next time, guys. See ya.